Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the six month anniversary, and it has been really hyped up. I'm pretty hyped up about it. Uh, one of the things that really gets me is this little symbol they've got going on down here with the draw. It's got the rainbow shimmer, like a limit break. That's a very cool touch. Uh, when you click on it, it's got the same thing up here. And when you go to limit break, the fact that these look like the limit break gauge when it's full, like, just a really good touch. Uh, we're going to be getting into the banner in just a little bit. Uh, before that, though, I want to touch on some other things. And I want to start off with something that I was just looking for right before I started recording this. And that is when I first logged in after update, I took a look at the shop and I am 100% certain that there was a pack just like these only for the half anniversary. And it was like when you clicked on it, one of them for 300 red crystals had two uh, five star gotcha tickets and a 10 draw, uh, 10 regular tickets. And then the date changed while I was running through the event. And that's the only time my game ever had to uh, update, which I'm, it didn't download anything to update. But you know what I mean? It had to restart. For the time change and now it's gone uh very very odd because i'm sure that it wasn't there before uh it was <laughs> and then it was not uh so i wonder if anybody was able to purchase that or if anybody can back me up on this uh because i'm not crazy about it uh, i did see it there were some other things in there too um and now they're just gone okay Anyway, other than that, uh, yeah, they've got these uh, new packs here. They're pretty. I think they're pretty good value. I, honestly, I don't buy these types of packs, but I feel like sixteen thousand crystals for seventy dollars is a pretty good value as the game normally goes. Um, yeah. Other than that, I don't think these are worth it. Um, yeah. So that's about everything. I was, but I was actually going to talk specifically about that pack and now it's just gone it was called like a legendary pack uh and it was actually like specifically it was like one of these first two. Oh well anyway so we've got that uh we've got this event going on now the knights of judgment and some of the story in this i don't it's not going to be necessarily a spoiler but i do want to talk about a couple of the things that happen in the story as it relates to the banner and what i think we may get on future banners while this six month anniversary is going on. Uh, I'll just show you, you know, there's 15 total stages going all the way up through EX2 at the moment. Wasn't that much of a challenge, but if anybody needs any help, leave a comment. If enough people seem to need it, I would be happy to put a video up for that. But looking in the exchange shop, I am really excited about this chariot wheel weapon that we're getting. Why? Well, um, off the top, it's not really that special. I mean, the ability kind of sucks. Uh, boost magic attack is just fine, but boost water potency is not something that I can think of that we've seen. I don't know if we've seen any of the free weapons have a elemental potency boost. We may have had one earlier on, but off the top of my head, I just cannot think of one that is. And if even if we have, we haven't had very many. So this is really nice and I'm very, very excited to have it because it's certainly going to find a way, I'd, I'd say, onto any free to play players um, sub weapon list, you know, for trying to do water damage. So I'm really, really excited about that. The rest of these rewards look really good. 30 Mithril Ore, uh, draw tickets, catalyst, the memories, specific weapon parts, everything else is in order. Another, you know, five star guaranteed ticket, four star guaranteed tickets. It looks really good, so I'm very excited about the event. Okay. Huh. This notice was also not here uh, just now when I was looking through because I also looked at the notices before I started filming. Uh, let's see here. Following shop, the price of some packs are not displayed on FS. Nope. Okay, the half anniversary tab has temporarily been removed from the shop on all operation systems. Okay, so I wasn't crazy. That really was there. 
and then right before I, I, I was uh, going to film the video, I clicked on shop just to refresh my memory and it was gone. Um, <laughs> maybe we'll get some more compensation crisis points for this. Uh, who knows? Okay. That's that. Um, obviously, now we do have, I, I'm guessing that they implemented the, co the Chocobo uh, rank B. I don't have any rank B ones. I checked. Um, yeah. So other than that, though, really good rewards coming in. Um, we get this free 10 draw. It looks like there's going to be three volumes with at least one five star weapon guaranteed every time. 280 free draws here. I mean, geez louise. Uh, this is even a pretty good value. It's half price 10 draw with a guaranteed five star. And then there's still this. 10 draw for 300 with a guaranteed five star uh really super good value right now and they're giving us so many things that i'm already over the whole tifa debacle okay so let's get into the, the current banner um these look really cool uh i i'm just kind of jump right in I'll, I'll start with cloud i guess if that makes sense this this outfit is awesome looking like it's by far my favorite outfit that they've come out with for cloud. It just looks badass. And the sword, I'm like hit or miss. It kind of looks like it could be like part of a clock, to be honest, like one of the, the long hand. Uh, I don't really care about the sword. It's OK, but the outfit looks sick. Um, I really like how they've got kind of the green inlay. Uh, just it looks really badass and uh, I'm excited for cloud. Yeah, it looks good um, Looking at the gear itself. It's called saber style. It gives him frostblade arcanum and You know, this is the third frostblade I think or fourth. I don't even know. I've kind of lost track I know I specifically have this on both Sephiroth and Tifa so I really don't need it on cloud and i want this outfit because it looks so cool but as you can tell even with all the crystals they've just thrown at us and it literally doubled as of this update i was sitting at seven thousand before i'm still under 15 probably not in the cards for me to roll this because it doesn't really make sense for me to try to get three frostblade arcanums over trying to get a water arcanum which so far hadn't existed until now uh, you know, plus five physical attack that is in line with what we normally see on an Arcanum gear. Uh, I don't know why it feels so little. <laughs> uh, maybe because, you know, we were getting this back when Sephiroth first got his Frostblade Arcanum. And so maybe I was thinking Power Creep might come in, but it's okay. doesn't matter. doesn't make it any worse. It's still a perfectly good piece of gear. And I would say, you know, if you're a big Cloud fan or you don't already have a Frostblade Arcanum or you don't have maybe two, you might you might want to pick this up i mean it's perfectly good it's just whether or not it might be overkill for your account stream saber uh what does this do okay so starting at 500 percent going up to 900 percent physical ice damage which i believe is just a little bit ahead of the game as far as power creep uh, i think some of these weapons started out in like the mid 400s i think they were a Approaching 500 as of Sky Splitter, and so now starting off at five, we are seeing that power creep. They're just starting out a little bit higher and a little bit higher, so that is pretty good. Most people, let's just say, well, actually, let's not. So normally I look at a weapon at OB6 for the value because that's where most people are trying to get it to. If you remember from my previous video when I was announcing these. It said that this was a limited time banner or these were limited time weapons. Uh, I did have somebody comment on that video and they said something to the effect of they thought it would work differently than the um, the crossover banners. And essentially they thought that you could still wish list it. You just couldn't pull it in free tickets. I looked through all the update. I couldn't find anywhere where that was the case. I'm not saying it's not. I don't know. And yes, whether or not these are limited or whether or not you can wish list them, I think hugely affects their value because if you can't get these to OB6, I don't think that they're that good. 
Um, I mean, 500% physical ice damage is better than a Materia, sure. But this boost attack here for all allies, if you just have it at OB, or if you don't have it OB'd at all, if it's just five star, 24 points is plus 60 attack to everybody and then plus 18%. That's okay. Um, it's not bad. I don't know that there's a huge benefit to it, though, and I'll get to that in just a moment. As far as the materia goes, though, physical attack boost, physical attack boost, and sigil boost, great. Everything I like to see on this. I think that the physical attack stat here is good. Really, it seems really high at 583, I believe. But this is what I'm most concerned about because this looks really really good on paper like when i first opened this up i thought this is a boost physical attack to all allies that is insanely strong well it sounds insanely strong but looking at it here okay let's just do a hypothetical experiment if you had it to level seven which it would take more than one of these weapons and right now we only have two of them which we'll see when we look at glenn's um it would take both of those stacking together in some form or fashion to get here um and you would have to probably be yeah you would because if you had 34 on one as a main weapon and then 34 as a sub weapon at all on another one it's not enough to get it here so it has they both have to be main hand and then you would end up with this with plus 60 plus 28 if we look at a regular weapon, for example, that just has boost physical attack, uh, then we can see it maxes out at plus 100 physical attack and then also plus 50%. Okay, so if we take that and then we look at one of these weapons. Okay, where it's plus 60 and plus 28% to everybody, you could effectively say that it's plus 180 because it's happening to three members of your party. And plus, let's see, 28 times three is 84%. So it has a 34% advantage over the plus 50% and a 20, uh, or sorry, an 80 advantage over the plus 100. So the way I would see it is this, good and bad. Well, bad is you have to put this you're gonna have to stick at least well both of them in their main in the main weapon slot which makes things awkward and it probably makes it harder to also then max regular p attack right um and i i think that that's just awkward because it, you know, you're already trying to max P attack, but if you don't have the weapon in your main hand, then you need 110 points anyway to get the regular main P attack up to 55. Does that make sense? So I feel like what you're actually sacrificing here, like I don't I don't actually think that the trade-off is that good. Because if you had even two main damage dealers and both of them just had regular max uh, P attack, they're each getting plus 100 and plus 50 percent um then how do you how do you get this on there you would need more of these weapons than just these two and maybe that's coming down the pipeline okay maybe in the second part because i think they said that the second banner or something is coming out march 20th something like that maybe there are going to be more so what i like about this is that right now it's pretty easy for us to boost physical attack um you, you get at least one weapon that has boost P attack to OB6, uh, a couple of sub weapons. It's easy to do that. And then you're having to worry about regular attack. Well, this, I assume this adds on because it's a different R ability because it's technically all allies and it's got different percentages. This would be uh, multiplicative or stacking to the regular boost attack. So for that reason, I think if you're a whale, it's really good. Uh, if you're maybe even a dolphin if, if you've got access to high like i've got two characters that i can easily boost their physical attack with one weapon maybe two weapons okay and then i throw these on as sub weapons or on another person to further boost my physical attack that's great for the average free-to-play player i don't know how valuable these are actually going to be 
um, because of the fact that you're going to need to stack a few of them to get to this 55 point thing. Uh, because, again, even assuming you get it to OB6, it's at 34. I, I don't assume most people are getting an OB10. And especially if it's limited again, getting multiple of these to OB6, I, that's just untenable for a free to play. That's It's not possible unless you've saved just an enormous amount of crystals, like 150k plus, I would guess. So I guess I'm just kind of struggling to evaluate this because one, I, I don't know for sure if these are limited limited, as in not going to happen again, like the crossovers or limited only in some capacity, but not fully limited. That would really affect my overall uh, assessment of this. As it stands though, I mean, I'm going to I'm going to assume that it is limited um, because that's how it read in the uh, notice. With that being said, I don't I don't think this is that great. And I can quickly go over Glenn's now. I know I spent a lot of time on that with Cloud, but I really do think that it needs to be dissected to really understand what it is that we're looking at. OK, so now we've got Glenn's. This is 500 percent water damage as opposed to physical ice damage. Uh, capping out at 900%. So again, seeing a nice power creep there for Glenn. Other than that, it's got the same abilities, only instead of ice potency, we're looking at water potency, boost attack to all allies, and the materia looks the same as well. Physical attack, physical attack, even the sigil boost is the exact same. Um, and these stats too are actually really, really close to the same. So I have the same evaluation of this weapon as Cloud's weapon. I just don't know exactly where to put it until I know if these are going to be limited or not, uh, because I don't as a sub weapon, for example, if you don't main hand this, uh, you're getting 12 points out of it. So all allies get plus 20 and then plus 10 percent. Sure, I guess uh, I honestly think, though, that in most content that is not going to be nearly as good as a bunch of other different sub weapons most of the time. Uh, just my my take off the top of my head with that. As for Glenn's outfit, <clears throat> uh, starting off, it looks it looks good. I don't like it as much as Clouds. I think Clouds just has a little bit more like Final Fantasy swag to it. I think his is fine. It just you know just doesn't impress me as much. His weapon though looks way cooler. This axe, it looks amazing. I love it love really really like it. i think it's the best looking weapon that we've had for glenn uh and glenn is starting to really come up in the world he is with ultimatic a few banners ago and now um getting this weapon and this pretty big deal so this is water blade arcanum it is the first arcanum for water previously we've had water mastery like cloud sailor outfit which i do not have wish i would have gotten it if i had that I might not be going for this. I still may not be going for this, and I'll get to that in just a moment, but it's good. This is really good. Physical attack, that's what he's kind of known for. 35% bonus to water damage. It's it's a big deal. And his weapon is, you know, as good as a water weapon gets, starting off with 500 and capping at 900. It's everything you would want. So, I think these are I think these are really good outfits. Obviously, there's two Arcanums. It doesn't get a lot better than that. Um, still, I think the Tifa's limited time crossover weapon was better, to be honest with you, uh, just for what it ultimately represents. The um, the versatility that you get with just a non elemental damage and all of that. Uh, so if you did spend all your crystals on that banner and you don't have much for this one, don't beat yourself up. I think it's okay. I'm not. Um, also, you notice this ends April 7th. April 7th. That means that this banner is going on for a month. That's a long time to have one banner. Which, if it's limited, it also gives us a lot of time to save up crystals. So, what I wanted to say about the story if you went through the event and, and you watched the story at all, is that 
these weapons uh, looked kind of fancy. And, well, they looked a little bit different, but they were like, I assume with the green stuff going on, the enemies couldn't be hit and you needed to be able to have a certain kind of weapon. And they showed multiple characters being given these special types of weapons. Cloud being one, Glenn being one, also Sephiroth and Zack being on there. So, you know, I, I can't I can't predict the future, but if I was a betting person based on that story, I would expect that a future banner in this event, because this event's going on for a long time, um, I think Sephiroth and Zack are probably getting weapons. And why is that important? Well, because it's it's always easy to look at a new weapon like or a new costume like this one that Glenn has and say, oh, I want that. I don't have anything like that. But if you are on a limited amount of crystals, then, you know, sometimes waiting for the best stuff for the characters that you use is better. And since you've got till April 7th, I don't know, there's just not a lot of drawback. I think the drawback, which is like basically not getting, um, you know, the the bonus here, not having that while you're doing the event. I think that is a very low cost uh, to based on, or, I think it's a very low cost versus uh, spending and then maybe not having something for a banner that would suit you better or that you would like more. So that's that's where I stand on that right now. The only other thing I want to go over, because there's so much, this video is so long for a banner review, but there's just so much stuff to go over, is I will note that uh, you do have the normal 6 stamp, 12 stamp, okay, but then on page 2, they've continued with this at 4 here, and 8, and again at 12, really nice, and even on page 3, there's two more guarantees. So I really like what they're doing here uh, with, you know, this progress and all that stuff and in the way that they're, I guess, maybe adding a little bit of incentive or keeping it that way. I'm very excited about that. That's about everything I have at the moment. Um, there's just I felt like there were so many things to look at, especially because, you know, the abilities on these new weapons, it's just not something we've ever seen before. It's a brand new R ability. And I think, you know, obviously testing would be much easier if I had the weapons and I could build out uh, characters, right? Because I could show, you know, here's how much physical attack I have on cloud if I equip this, that, and this, right? And then this is what I can do with this R ability. But without that, I have to just kind of theory craft literally in my head doing some kind of math that makes sense. And with it, I think it'd be very hard to utilize this to the best of its ability. That's what I think. Uh, furthermore, in in content that's going to not be all physical damage, right? If you need a, like one magic damage dealer, one physical damage dealer, like a lot of the, you know, um, crisis dungeons, the competitive ones, right? Uh, then this falls off a lot. Right? Because I don't care to boost Sephiroth's physical attack, let's just say, if I'm using edged wings and I'm going ice damage. Uh, I don't need that. And I also, you know, unless again, there's builds with Matt where he's the damage dealer where he could benefit for some from some physical attack. I get it. But if I'm using Aerith and I'm using her as a debuffer or a buffer slash healer, this isn't doing anything for her either. And if you're not benefiting from three heroes getting this, then the effect is less than just having two main damage dealers with max physical attack, unless you're having to use this to boost them even further, which is going to be very difficult unless you have really big weapons. Okay, that's all my thoughts on this. I'd like to know what you guys think. I think there was a lot of things that I covered. One, let me know if you looked at the shop. I know, obviously, I was vindicated by that notice, but if anybody was able to get in there, um, yeah, I'd like to know about that. Uh, two, I'd like to know what you think about these uh, weapons and, you know, where are you going to be pulling for them? Are you going to be waiting? Uh, what do you expect maybe is going to come in the future? I think somewhere in a notice I read that the second part of this 
event would start on March 20th. That's in two weeks. So very excited to see what's going on. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, well, I appreciate each and every one of your support. As always, thanks for watching.